Hi guys! So as promised, I have a Scentsy box for you and I'm really excited because I have something that a lot of people have been waiting for since the um, new catalog came out. So first of all, let's get to the little things and then I'm going to show you the big, really awesome thing. So we have some body products. So I have a Lucky and Love hand soap and a Lucky and Love hand cream. These are mainly because I have a vendor event coming up and these were really like popular at my last vendor event and then I had some hostess rewards I needed to use so I just used them on these things um, and maybe they'll sell this weekend. So that's those items. Um, let's see. I also went ahead and picked up a six pack of bars and some of our spring scents, um, our new spring scents, just because I had people asking about new scents at my last event, and I thought these would be a hit at my new um, at this weekend's event. So have aloe water and cucumber, and I absolutely love it. And also my lighting's low, but you'll see why later. I wanted to be able to not have as many lights when I show you the other two things I have. So aloe water and cucumber. If you don't get anything else, any other scent out of this um, new spring lineup, this is the one that you need to get. So it is so good. It's such a fresh scent. Um, not overpowering. It's just really good. So aloe water and cucumber. Darling Dahlia, that's a floral, but it's not a really strong floral. So it's really good if you don't like like overpowering flowery scents. Oh yeah, that's really good. So Darling Dahlia is a good one. And these are just some of my favorites out of the spring lineup. So Caramel Sugar Comb. This one smells just like, if you're local to me, then you know about this. But we have a, an ice cream shop called Simply Natural Creamery. And they make their own waffle cones and waffle bowls. And this Caramel Sugar Cone smells just like you're walking into that shop. So really good if you like sweet scents, bakery type scents, you'll like Caramel Sugar Cone. Blue Hyacinth is another floral that I actually like. Um, it's not overbearing. Um, it's just a really great spring, uh, really good spring scent. It's almost a little powdery, but it's not too bad. So Blue Hyacinth. And we have Apricot Vanilla. If you like your fruitier scents, but you don't like them too strong, Apricot Vanilla is perfect. This is another great spring scent. And my favorite, I cannot wait to get my pods for my Scentsy Go in this, but Go Go Mango. Like, I love Go Go Mango. Um, this was a scent uh, back in the summertime last year for a um, summer, in, um, not incentive, a summer promo we had with some products. And um, Go Go Mango was not out in bar form, but you could get it in our laundry products. And so now it's back in bar form. Um, I want to say it's the previous scent, but I'm not positive. If it is, it was before my time. But Go Go Mango is really good. So those are the six scents that I picked up, you know, because they are, you know, all of our bars are buy five, get one free. So when I buy them, I like to get them in six packs because you're getting a free bar. Who doesn't love free? So... And I also got some scent circles because you all know I love to have scent circles on hand. Um, I like to just get these out as like little gifts. Um, I use them for um, hostess rewards. I put them in my join packets. And we also put them in care packages for troops. So I got two A's for Apple, which I think these are the same scents that I got the last time I got a six pack of scent circles. Two Aloha Citrus and two Berry of Paradise. But these are really good scents though. So you can never go wrong with a six pack of scent circles because they're so cost um, efficient. They're, they're $3 a piece or buy five get one free. So I love my scent circles. Um, and right now we have a scent circle fundraiser. I'm just going to put a little plug in for this and it is to help get some um, sensory aids for my son's classroom. Since it's Autism Awareness Month, I thought why not hold some type of fundraiser that helps out children with autism. So my son is in an autism classroom. Hi Jackie. Um, my son is in an autism classroom, so um, he, they are looking to buy some sensory aids for the students there, and I thought, why not do a Scent Circle fundraiser? So I am going to link that when I'm done with this video, and that way you guys can participate if you like. So it's going on the entire month of uh, or April. So, Okay, so now to the really exciting things. 
Now, one of these you guys have seen before. I've had one, and I sold it um, at a vendor event. It was actually so popular that the person who bought it, like, they asked me if they could buy that one. Usually, when it's something really, really popular, I try to keep it on hand for the whole event, and then... Um, I just take orders, but this guy was like, nope, I want to buy that one right now today because I like the way it looks. It's really pretty. So, and it is our Stargaze Warmer. You've seen our Stargaze before, but no two are alike. So I'm going to go ahead and open this one um, and show you what it looks like because I'm curious to see what it looks like too. So I love our sayings on our box. I always tell you about those. This one says the smallest act can ripple and spread and have a bigger impact than you ever imagined. The simplest act can change the world. You can change the world. And that is from Heidi, one of our owners. Okay, so let's take a look at this warmer. Like I said, I showed it to you guys before, um, but I sold mine. So I went ahead and got a replacement and we're gonna see what this one looks look like in person. So when you open it up, it just looks like a big chrome ball. And make sure that when you take out this stuffing, you don't throw it away. Your light bulb is in there. And these are a little tough to get into. They have these packaged up really well because you don't want to scratch that finish because that's what gives it the effect that it has. So... I did bring an extension cord so I don't have to get up and um, plug this in. So, like, over by the wall, which helps a lot. So, here we go. So, here's your bulb. And for it to be a big warmer, it's a small bulb. It's only a 20 watt. You would think this would be a 25 watt warmer, but it is not. Um, basically, because the dish kind of sits kind of um, close to the bulb itself. So it doesn't need to be a really high powered, um, it doesn't have to be one of the bigger bulbs. So there's your dish. It is a frosted dish. And as you can see, maybe you can see, probably not. You can see it on the back, but it's going to be backwards. Or to you actually, it's probably going to be the um, right way. Number four, that is just Sensi's recommendation for how many cubes you can put in your dish. You don't have to use four. A lot of people are um, happy using one or two. So. There it is, the frosted dish. And then I'm going to plug it in. Let's see here. I'm excited about this. All right. So it's plugged in. And like I said, this it just looks like a big chrome ball. So you're wondering what's so special about that. There's where your bulb is. It's got a little notch back here for your cord. But the magic happens when you turn it on. So you'll put your dish in. I'm going to actually leave it off that way I don't have to worry about losing it. But like all of our other warmers, it has a toggle. So are you ready? Here we go. Check it out. So isn't that cool? Like I love our Stargaze. These are so pretty. As you know, I have the Stargaze diffuser. I show you guys all the time. But like this one is so neat. Sometimes you'll find these and they will have... Like, they'll be all white, there will be no colors, or there's some that are, like, lots and lots of colors. Some have more um, pinks in them and blues and greens. This one's pretty cool. This one, I'm trying to see. Let's see. It's got a, it's just, like, lighter colors. It's not, like, really bright, bright colors. Hi, Wesley. But isn't that neat? I love it. These are great, like... Even if you don't put wax in them, they just look really cool. So that is our Stargaze Warmer. So I am going to turn this one off, and then I have something else for you guys. So I'm really, really excited about this next one um, because these were such a hit. Um, and since he came out with something fairly similar, uh, it's not exactly like this one. Because, um, you know, this one has the... Well, where did my thing go? Um... And this particular one um, has the chrome finish. So what you're going to see next is a warmer that is very similar, but it does not have the chrome finish. So I'll let you know. So it's the Nova Warmer is what I'm going to show you. And the thing about the Nova Warmer, it came out, or 
since he told us about it um, with the new catalog that came out on March 1st, but there were some technical issues with it, and, you know, since he likes to make sure everyone is safe, and since he doesn't want anyone burning their house down, so they put it on hold as far as, you know, production and um, releasing it and everything, so it just came out last week, I believe, and I decided I really needed one, <laughs> you know, because I need all the things. Okay, I'm looking for my little piece of styrofoam that I had on this, but I don't have it right now, so I'm just going to set this guy down, and I'm going to hope and pray I don't knock it over, and, um, yeah, hopefully I don't knock it over, so. Alright, so next we have, like I said, the Nova Warmer. So what's cool about this one is if you're if you like stargaze but you don't care about that bright chrome finish, you know, sitting there when um, the warmer's off, then you may like this one a little more. So let's here, see here. Okay, trying not to make such a mess. I always make a mess when I open warmers. There's so much to them. So this dish is really neat because this is like a. This one's, instead of a frosted dish, it's like a smoky gray dish. So, so there you go. It's the same size, still a number four, so since he still recommends four cubes, but like I said, you could put however many cubes you want. I just wouldn't go over four, because then you will, um, you'll overflow it and make a big mess. Alrighty, this is really cool. I'm really excited about this warmer. <laughs> So once again, you have this big wad of stuff, but don't throw it away because that's where your bulb is. And as you can see, this warmer is, it's a darker finish, so it's not as bright as the Stargaze, and it is a little different. That Stargaze was a really, really big ball, and this one's like a smaller size, and it kind of tapers off a little more. So let's put the bulb in, and we'll turn it on, and we'll see how this one looks. And just like the Stargaze, no two of these are alike. Um, they are hand-blown glass, so everybody's is going to look a little different. They'll look similar, but they will look different. And I think that's really cool. When you start getting um, orders for these and you get multiple orders, I always like to check out my warmers before I give them to people if I'm actually delivering them, if they're not drop shipped. Um, because I want to make sure nothing's broken. And so when I get more than one stargaze at a time, I always think it's really cool to look at them all together to see how different they are. So I am going to plug this guy in. This one's just like the stargaze too, where it has the notch in the back for your cord. So let's see here. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm putting all my packing materials in front of you guys. So you can't see. All right, let me plug it in. If I can find my extension cord. Oh, and this one was already on, so let's turn that off. Okay, so here it is. And then, of course, this is where your dish will go. But I don't want to drop it, so I'm going to take the dish off while I turn it on. All right, so here we go. Toggle switch. And ta-da! It's just like the Stargaze, it's just not as bright. This one's really cool. This one has a lot of color to it. I really like this one. So, I am so excited that they have finally released this. Because look how cool it is. Like, my husband and I are into cars. I think it'd be cool to have a shift knob like this. <laughs> but how is that? So I am going to link the Stargaze for you guys, and I'm going to link the Nova. And you can now purchase the Nova. Um... It is a $50 warmer, but like I said, it's hand-blown glass. No two are alike. They're all different. Um, I really like this one. I'm so excited about this one. This one I don't want to sell. I'm hoping that I can just take orders for this at my next event and nobody tries to buy it directly from me because I really like this one. So there you have it, you guys. I just wanted to get on and show you that because I thought it was really cool. So... So you have Stargaze, and now we have Nova. So basically it depends on, you know, if you like, because they do the same thing, it just kind of depends on if you like the darker finish, or if you like the chrome finish, and if you like um, 
the size, like depending on, you know, if you don't mind the size of this one, you might like this one better, but I kind of like the smaller size of the Nova. So anyways, let's see. See if I could turn them on together without dropping anything. If I can find my bulb, oh yeah. And they're both 20 watt bulbs, so they're the smaller bulbs. They're not going to use the big giant bulbs, which you can get bulbs from me. We have bulbs that are $3 each or, no, $2 each or three for five. All right, let's turn them on at the same time. I don't blow anything up. <laughs> Now, if only I had my Stargaze diffuser in here, right? All right, so there is Stargaze Warmer, and there is Nova. Look how cool they look. I kind of want a shelf now, and I want one on either side of the shelf. Look how cool that is. All right, I just had to see both of them together because they're so neat. All right, seriously. <laughs> okay, you've seen enough. All right, so that's it, you guys. Um, like I said, don't forget about our fundraiser because it does help Bentley's class. Um, we also have all of those great Mother's Day specials that we just released a few days ago. Um, we have those bricks. I Just in case you wanted to see it again. <laughs> we have those bricks that we released. Um, I do have a shipment of all of them coming in, so I will give you my first sniff impressions on them as soon as they come in. I think they'll be here, should be here by the end of the week, I hope. Fingers crossed. So, hoping to have them because I have an event on Sunday. Um, and for those of you who are local, I will um, post the information about my event on Sunday also. Um... Other than that, I think that's it. Um, make sure that you are um, keeping up with my notifications because I will have the next, um, the May warmer of the month sometime next week. It'll probably be the end of next week uh, before that comes in. And if you are watching me on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe so that you can keep on watching my videos uh, because we have lots of exciting things coming up. We're going to end up having Father's Day specials coming up pretty soon, probably next month. So Anyways, um, thank you guys for watching, and I appreciate you all for supporting my business. You guys are amazing, um, whether you're customers who buy things or whether you're just people who share my post or if you're just watching. So anyways, thank you guys so much, and I hope you have a great evening. Bye.